Okay, what's up? This is Stuff Shark. Today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to edit skins within the rally, or liveries in this case. Uh, the process itself is somewhat complex. It's It seems very difficult, but in reality it's a lot of little things that you have to kind of align correctly. Uh, we're going to cover the basic car model and also the glass, which is a little bit special. You need to do a little bit of things differently. So first off, you're going to need some tools to do this. First of which being is located at rallygamer.com. It is the uh, PSSG editor. And you can see the direct link here if you want to download it from here. I'll put all these in the description if you want to click on them directly. Um, but these what you do is open up the files, the PSSG files, which is what Dirt Rally uses to hold all the texture files for the, all the cars. It's pretty simple. Uh, you're going to need that, that one for sure, and you're also going to need one more, which is the Photoshop and Video Texture tool for Photoshop. It's a plugin that lets you open up DDS files. DDS files are the actual like the actual file where the data is located for the textures. So this is what lets you, you know, put them in Photoshop and start tweaking them and doing all that stuff to actually edit it, right? That's how you would use, you need you need this plugin. Uh, if you're using a different image editor, I'm not really sure what's the compatibility on that one. It might work, it might not, I'm not sure. Now, when it comes to uh, the actual, f so once you have all those downloaded, I would put them in a separate folder. So, for example, I have one called Custom Skins and Overall Stuff. For graphics stuff, because I do a lot of different modding and stuff. I have one for Dirt. I take that editor, put it into a separate folder, right? I just have it located, you know, within the same area. And then I have one for Skins. And in here, what you want to do is pick a car you want. Well, basically, what you want to do is find the car. So once you have all the tools downloaded, find the car you want to work with. So in order to find the car actual data, you're going to go to the Steam location, so where you have your Steam located, Steam Applications, Common, you can go then to Dirt Rally, which you'll see in the list of all the different games you have installed. You'll then go to Cars, Models, and in here you'll see a three character kind of name for all the different cars in the game. Now in order to know what those are, we're going to go back to that site we downloaded the programs from, and you'll see down here at the bottom, you'll see all the different names, the three letter character, and what the cars actually stand for and with the actual location of them. So for example, FOW is one I was working with before. That is the 01 uh, Ford Focus Rally. I, that's one of my favorite cars in the game. This is my personal favorite. So that's FOW. Boom. And here is going to be all the different camera stuff, all the AI, some of this stuff. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually copy and paste all this into that skins folder we made that I made before. Uh, I put it under a root. That way you know that that's the default one. You can just literally copy and paste the whole thing in there, and bada boom, you're good to go. Now, some cars have multiple liveries to them, right? The uh, 01 Focus, for example, has like I think like has quite a bit in there, right? If you're working on something like the uh, VW Polo Rally, which is only one skin, you'll only see one livery in here, which means you only get one skin to work with, which can be kind of nice, but you have only one. So, once you find the car that you want to modify or make yourself, you know, it's it's up to you. Once you find the one you want, uh, make a separate folder, copy it from within your local directory of the game, like your own local files, and once that's good to go, you're going to go to the livery you want. So we're going to work on 41, because that's a pretty easy one. We go to high, the texture high, and we're going to click on this one right here, which is the car, car model, texture, high, and then the delivery number. These here are the different tire models, so this is for like grass, or I think gravel, Grass is gravel, snow, tarmac, and I think wet tires. And this is the one for uh, the car itself. So once this is loaded, it's going to open up on a thing called lights. This Now the, it's going to open the lights. The DM stands for the damage. So if you see it says DM there, notice they're all kind of cracked. They're all kind of broken there. And this one's overlapping a little bit. That's not good. But anyways, this is basically where all the texture files are located. So if we go to main... You'll see this is where the actual files are. This is where all the different uh, objects are saved graphically, in a sense. This is basically what the actual graphics will look like when applied to the car. So obviously this is the hood up here. We have the left side of the car, right side of the car. This is the bottom bumper, upper part. I like the back part of the car. Front bumper, the hood. This is the rear end, so it goes downward. And then we have, so we cover that. We then have down here, it's kind of hard to tell next to the MP here, there's this very, very small, it's hard to read, it's very visually hard to see with it being black. It is a um, upper part here, it's a semicircle. This is actually the top part of the bumper that's, or the 
sorry, the top part of the spoiler on the back of the car right here. And over here, you can see the faint outline of it. This is actually the uh, rear portion of it. So this is on the uh, bottom, I believe. Although it could be swapped. Sometimes I get those mess messed up. My bad. So I have to play around with that to see which one's which. So at this point, you have your car. You have which model you want to work with. We're going to do what you're going to do next is go to textures, export texture, pick a place to locate it. So we're not going to put it here, but we're going to put it on working on. This is at least how I organize it. I'd recommend it as well because it's pretty good. Pick the car model you're working with the screen you're working with, which is the white one, and you can save it in here. Now I made two separate folders for completed DDS files. As you can see, it only exports as a DDS file. This is the actual type of data it's working with. And once you're done with that, you can leave this open. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to minimize it, and we're going to open up the Explorer. Nope, I don't want that one. I'm looking for... Ah, this will work. So we're going to go to Textures High skins we're going to go to uh, working on FOW livery 41 and boom we can see our default now don't worry about these actually I'll just purge those right now it's not a big deal so this right here is the blank one we were working with before uh, if you have that Photoshop plugin installed you'll be able to see a preview of this and when you hit enter while it's loaded I cancel here let me close these this is some previous test run we're going to go to left click again. You'll see this little pop up. Uh, it's set up by default like that. I recommend leaving it on. It's up to you if you want to turn it off, if you don't like it. This, w once you see this, you're basically good to go. Once you unlock the layer, you can now start doing whatever you want with it. So if you want to go draw big old lines and draw smiley faces or whatever, put on different logos or whatever, that's up to you, right? At this point, it's your kind of design. That's where you come in. And once you have that all good to go, what you'll do is go File, Save, and actually you're not going to, my apologies, you're not going to do that because that will overwrite the one you exported. So you're going to go to File, Save As, you're going to make a separate one, I recommend making a separate one at least. You're going to go to Actual, or I'll, I'll, I made an Actual, what you can do is, once you have the one you're good to go with, and you're going to be like, exporting with, by default, and as word warning, by default it will save it in Photoshop, make sure you click Save As Type. DDS file. This is what's actually recognized by the game. If you save it as a Photoshop file, it's not going to um, work. So make sure you save it as a DDS file. I made two separate folders for ones that are completed and not completed. Uh, this one I'm not going to save because I'm not going to actually use this one. But if I go to where I have those files, uh, da -da 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 -da, 41. If I have my actual one here, we'll open up it within Photoshop. Boom. So on here I have a couple little the little shark and stuff. I have some other fun things in here. A good dick butt for good luck. Once that's done, what you're gonna do is we'll take we'll use this one for example. This is the one that I uh, personally use. You're gonna go back to so once you have let me let me clear the slate. So once you have your thing ready to go, you have it saved separately. You have the DDS file saved. What you're gonna do is go back to the ego editor right here. You're gonna click textures. Export, te actually, sorry, you're going to import texture. From here, you're going to find the skin that you were working on. So, skins, working on FOW, Liberty 41, actual, boom. You'll see if you, to make sure it works, when you hit open within the editor itself, you will see it now has the objects I put in there, right? This shows that it is working. The next part's very, next part's very, very important. Uh, you're going to hit file, save save as PSSG at this point do not save it in here save it somewhere else I wouldn't recommend putting it in the root actually but in a separate file folder called complete I already have one in here called that so that's all I did there now if you want to edit something like the glass to change like the uh, names of something this is actually a different uh, file type that's being saved in order to check this you're gonna have to go to all sections now by default you'll select the uh, texture the one you select in here will be shown up in here. So this is library texture. You go over to the data values here. You'll see TexL format. Now this is DXT5 sRGB. So for example, if we want to modify this, for example, so just like we did before, we're going to export it. We'll put it under uh, working on FOW41. We'll put it in here, right? I'm not going to actually edit this for my sake. I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. If you go back to here, you'll see there's a glass DDS file. 
We can open this up. Photoshop wants to work today. There we go. Now, obviously, it's a little bit different than one we saw in the preview, but that's okay. We can draw whatever you want on here. I wouldn't recommend doing this to the actual uh, car. I don't think you want black smears all over the place. But if you want to do that, that's your choice. Make sure when you're doing this, file, save as, just like before. FOV glass, we'll put it into the test file. Now, let's see. So, see, by default, it'll save as DXT1. You can hit the drop down arrow. I'm looking for DXT5. I think it's this one. If you're not sure, on the actual website itself, there is a um, way for you to check this. So we're looking for the glass, DXT5, ARGB, BBP, interpolated alpha. So make sure for the glass itself, make sure it's DXT5 and not DXT1 by default. Make sure it's the 5. So we're not going to save right now because this is obviously junk. But if you wanted to change the glass, what you would do is save it and then import it just like before. You would go to textures, import texture and then import that new one over the skin and then save the pack. I'd do both of them at the same time, don't do them separately because that's a waste of time. And once you get that done, you're pretty much complete. At this point, you have to now install the skin. If you've done installs before on skins, it should be pretty simple. What you'll do is go to where you saved it. So for us, we have a skins complete. We have this one here. We're gonna copy it, Control C or however you copy it on your operating system. We're gonna go back to models going to go to the one you were working on, so FOW, go to the liver you're working on, 41, texture's high, and you're going to paste. That's all you got to do. I'm not going to paste it right now because I have my one already in here, but all you have to do is just paste. You're done. At this point, your skin is installed, you're ready to go, you're, you know, good as gravy, you're, you're done. At this point, your skin will look, uh, when, you, when you open the game, it'll look a little something like this. This is uh, testing it last night. It's working just fine. So... With this, hopefully this kind of sh that's the end of this. Uh, actually, that's going to be the end of the video. With that, hopefully you are now able to uh, import and change skins, do what you want with it. Uh, there are some limitations though. Uh, when it comes to editing files themselves, don't go past it. So if you're drawing a line or something, don't go past it because uh, it's going to look really, really funky. It's going to look two-dimensional uh, when you actually export it. It looks really, really weird. Don't recommend doing that. Make sure you stay within the lines. Because these are all uh, carefully processed on this image itself. So don't go over. Please. Trust me, you don't want to go over, okay? So make sure you stay within the lines. It's very important to do that. And with that, we're pretty much complete. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or any issues while working on this, feel free to put them in the comment section. I'll answer as many as I can. I'll hopefully I'll be able to get all of them. I don't think it's going to be that many people. But if you're curious and you're not sure about something, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll get it to you or I'll answer it for you as much as I can. And that's it. So thanks for watching and peace out.